Look at him. Hey. <laughs> Just bought these. They're fake worms. They're called gulp. Yeah, those might work. Earth yeah, worms. Those will work. Should I dig up some real worms in the garden? Nah. If you look right behind my son, over there is a pond, and I think the only thing we've ever seen in there are what, Nick? Bullheads. Yeah. So we'll try and catch bullheads. What are we trying to catch? I forgot. Bullheads. All right, so we're using these worms, and presentation is important. So we try and rig them so they don't look totally fake, if you will. I'm gonna hook it in the side, but then try and run it down a little bit. And you run it through a little bit. You see my dangly worm? I hope the fish bite and get a hook in their mouth. <laughs> Alright, Joe. Can you cast? Wow, that was good, Joey. Here comes Nick, and it looks like he's got some. No, that's a bullhead, Joe. It looks just like a catfish, but hey, come here. Oh, yeah, I let it sit in the water for a little bit. Look at him. Hey. He has the little whiskers. <gasps> Can't you not touch them? He can poke you with his fins, but his whiskers aren't going to do anything. Yeah, you got to be careful you don't get poked by them. Oh, he's slimy. They are slimy. They just use the pliers. No, I don't have to. Did you bring us pliers? Yeah, Look I at it. One. Look at the fish. It's a tiny bullhead. Hey, bullhead. Next oh, bullhead. bullhead. Don't you get it? It's ours. There he goes. <laughs> so here we are, three days later. I'm fishing by myself. My son, my oldest, caught a bullhead, but I did not. And the challenge is for me to catch one. Now I'm still using this uh, Berkeley worm. Don't get too excited about this Berkeley worm working. Bullhead pretty much eat everything. I set the bobber down about three feet. This pond actually, this pond gets pretty deep. I actually had to rescue a neighbor kid out of the pond who went in and I was standing here and he went in over his head and I was like, Ugh. Guess I gotta go save you, kid. And I pulled him out of the pond. I better catch these bullheads soon. It's getting late in the year, and the later it gets, the less they are active. And eventually, when it gets too cold, they bury themselves in the mud and just basically kind of hibernate when everything gets too cold and the ice is over and such. Out. No, there we go. Another thing I like to report is I'm officially semi pro fisherman. I was checking the stats for my fishing video about catching buffalo. Guess what? It made one cent. I have visual proof. Here it is. Technically, I'm a professional. I don't know if I can live off of one penny. So we'll just go with semi-pro since I'm, I'm keeping my teaching job, my day job. But I'm no longer an amateur fisherman. I'm semi-pro. All right, I might as well talk about what I'm using while I'm waiting right here. This is an ultralight reel that I 
Bought from Cabela's. See? Cabela's Fish Eagle Ultra Light. Uh, it's only four and a half feet. It's small. I bought it for my son, Joey Joe. And I got six pound mono test on, which is probably a little too much. I should probably lighten it up so I could cast farther. And I can't see my bobber. Oh, there it is. There's my bobber. Nothing's happening. Running out of time. Let's try over there. That's the spot. I can feel it. Do you see that? It's gonna bite. You see it? Take it. I got him. Urgh! I got a monster. Yeah. You can feel him. Feel Look at this guy. Got him. Please tell me you're my friend. Yeah. Yeah. It happened. There it is. I've got my bullhead. I've caught two species of fish. There you are, little bullhead. This is like disease, though. Look at him. He's got like spots all over him. Poor guy. All right, time to let this little guy go. Okay. All right. Two fish down. 